We're back for another review of a rye whiskey. I know, doesn't feel <laughs> like rye season, but here we are. Hi friends, I'm Laura, this is Troy, we're Baker Drinks, and today we have a review of the K. Luke rye whiskey this is their toasted barrel batch number three 114.6 proof it's distilled in kentucky and indiana so it's a blend 109 dollars is what they asked for it 109 dollars is what we paid for it we had to have it shipped we got it at seal box so there is a little additional cost for shipping associated with this particular bottle and like laura said it's not rye season but we're sure reviewing a lot of rye whiskeys lately. Apparently it is rye season. Who knew that all the drops of rye whiskey come out in the summertime? <laughs> I mean, I have heard other channels say this is the year of the rye. I mean, it makes sense. Rye whiskey has gone from really not that well liked to very much liked. I would consider it probably our favorite spirit a lot of times uh, we, we lean into that rye mm -hmm. flavor a lot. Um, so these companies have all been working on their rye whiskeys and now I guess is the time for them to be releasing. Yeah, I, I think I actually read somewhere or heard somewhere. I don't know. I'm old, I forget things. But I feel like I've been told that bourbon outsells rye whiskey about 17 to one. Shall we pour some of this? I think we and, should. And actually do a review. Let everybody know what we think about it. <laughs> it's a tight cork. Got our little wee glens. Oh, I think I spilled that. just about as much as I got in the in the glass there. It, it wasn't as bad of a spill <laughs> as you did with the Elijah Craig review. Where I missed the glass. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow, that was, I put some effort into that thing. <laughs> Don't mind us, we're amateurs. <laughs> so toasted barrels, a lot of times um, for bourbons especially, that I'm not a huge fan of, um, they can be overdone for me and kind of come across as burnt or char heavy. Um, and that's not a note that I love. Other people could just get the sweetness from it. So I'm hoping for the sweetness. Yeah, and prior to us reviewing this toasted rye, we have drank another toasted rye and it was Laura's favorite rye she's ever drank and it was from Nulu. Oh yeah, that one. It was really a, a bourbon junkies pick from a few years ago. Fantastic. So I'm hoping that this is going to bring out some of those similar flavors because that bottle's getting quite low and uh, I really, really like it. Yeah. So let's get in on the nose on this guy. Oh, there's some marshmallow. Yeah. Some graham cracker. But it's got a lot of that like refreshing rye notes in there as well, like uh, herbal notes. Um, yeah, I don't want to say minty yeah, or, I don't or think dill, it's but it's kind of a, like you said, it's kind of herbal. Maybe even like a like a tree, like a evergreen tree, like a pine tree, like a pine tree or something. You know, that kind of refreshing note. Yeah, I, I mean, I I can get the whole the whole s'more. I get a little bit of the campfire. I don't know that I get any chocolate, but I it, there's definitely a lot. Oh, maybe now that I said that, <laughs> you've convinced me. Jedi mind <laughs> trick. <laughs> It's, it's very sweet. This is definitely coming across as a sweet toasted rye and I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm gonna give this guy like an eight and a half on the aroma, eight and a half on depth. Yeah, um, I was a little harder on it apparently when I wrote this down. I said eight on aroma and nine on depth, but right now I'm really liking this nose. I think it just, Sometimes it just needs to have a second day. I'm gonna just sit here and smell it. I do want to just... <laughs> I don't know how good of a video this would be if we're just sitting here smelling. Well, I, for one, want to taste it. You, you don't want to do like a 10 minute video of us smelling? I do not. Okay. <laughs> My mouth is watering. I want to taste it. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to, to you. you. 
So that's dense. It's oily, very thick, rich, dark. Yeah, it, it does not come across as, I mean, it, it is sweet, but it does not come across as sweet as I was expecting on the nose. There's a lot more of those dense flavors, I feel like. Yeah, it it's kind of buttery. Like I keep dropping these adjectives, but it, it's, it's more the experience than the flavor for me right now. It's just like you put this in your mouth and you know you got something in there. It's not you're just taking a drink of something. This this has some substance to it. It you definitely I, I don't know. I don't, it's kind of hard to describe. You it's it's more than just liquid t feeling in your mouth. Well, I think a lot of it's the tingle. I mean, this thing's got spikes going all over all over my mouth. I feel it in my gums. I feel it on my tongue. Yeah, I mean, like, you ever go out and, and, you know, somebody in your party orders like a soda and someone else orders a milkshake, like that contrast from the super thin liquid to the super thick liquid? I'm not saying this is thick like a milkshake, but it's somewhere in between <laughs> feeling wise. Okay, I'll go with it. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah. Um, but it does have the sweetness, kind of like, the sweet parts of it are so super sweet that I almost want to say it's like powdered sugar, but then it has this other part that's got like classic rye notes. Um, a little bit of a tingle. A little bit of spice, uh, a little bit of herbal notes. And I think those things go well together. They mm. balance each other. So I said for flavor, a nine, feel nine, balance nine, complexity eight. Okay. So I said flavor nine, Feel eight and a half, balance eight and a half, and complexity nine. I, I think this is, I, I could probably spend a good deal of time with this and find all kinds of things to love about it. Probably, probably. Yeah. Um, I gotta take another sip before I judge <laughs> the finish. This finish is, is pretty long. It's not like one of those that like feels like it never ends, but it, it does have a long finish. Um, and it has all those rich, dark flavors uh, on the palate, but then it, it fades more into like a sweet and oak kind of a finish. Uh, it leaves a very pleasant taste in your mouth. Yeah, there's, n there's absolutely no bitterness. So uh, I said it was an eight on flavor and eight on length, um, above average, but not anything that, not the best I've ever had. I yes, guess. I said it's a, a very long, sweet, spicy finish. Um, it's not bitter at all. I, I really like the flavors as it transitions. You know, it doesn't evolve a ton. The flavor just kind of is the flavor, but it stays with you a long time. I gave it an eight and a half because it is a pleasant, pleasant flavor. Yes. And the length I gave it a nine. I feel like it is a very long finish. So <laughs> overall, I mean, it looks like all the other Kalukes. It's green instead of gray. I like their bourbons. I have been a huge fan of Kaluke after batch six, one for me as our best whiskey that we bought last year. So I was excited to try the rye. This is the first rye that I've had from them and it doesn't disappoint. I mean, the packaging isn't crazy special, but it's the same with all of their bottles. So I know this is what it is. I can see it on a shelf and I'll know, oh, you got some Kaluke, I'll take some of that. I, I mean, I got nothing bad to say about it. I love it. It, it keeps on it. It keeps making me want to go back for more. Um, great bottle. So I said I it was a nine for impression, and then the value I said was an eight. I feel like it's worth the hundred and nine dollars. I don't know how old it is. I don't care how old it is. It tastes like it's got some age to it. It doesn't taste young. So I think it's an appropriate uh, price point. It feels mm -hmm. elevated. Yeah, and I said. It, it's an exceptional rye whiskey. Honestly, it's one of the better ones that, that you can find out there. Uh, I feel it's priced appropriate for the experience. I'm not mad at the, the pain for the $109. Even the shipping, I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm happy that we've added this to our collection. I gave it a nine for impression and an eight for a value. My total score was an 86 and a half. 
and mine was an 85. So great scores, some of the top scores. It's gonna be a contender for this year's battle for the best. The way this year's going, we're gonna have a lot of rise in that top 10. <laughs> And the bottom 10. There's just so many rye whiskeys. <laughs> You're the rye. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know if you've tried anything from K. Luke. If you agree with us that they're an amazing brand or if you think we're crazy, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.